Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective, and today I wanted to give you kind of the, we'll call it the Day 60 update on the Unihertz Titan. So just a few things that I wanted to uh, get out there is that there are incremental updates still happening to the software, which is a good sign. Uh, you don't want to necessarily be purchasing a product that they release the initial version and then there's no additional support for it. So good on Unihertz for making sure that that is indeed happening. There are two major topics that I wanted to discuss today. The first being the camera on this particular unit, and the second is security. So we'll start with the short one first. The camera on the Unihertz Titan is entirely serviceable. Both front and rear facing cameras do a perfectly decent job. Uh, I did find the colors were a little washed out in some photos when I compared it to the ones taken on my Galaxy S8. However, that could just be the camera application or a few other different factors. But in terms of like autofocus and things like that, it did the job. Is it a flagship camera? Certainly not. It's not a flagship price. It's not a flagship phone. The latency is not fantastic, um, but it's far from terrible. So you should be able to focus and capture documents uh, without too much difficulty. And again, the focus is actually pretty decent and pretty quick. Let's talk about something that has come up a fair bit uh, in the, especially the discussion forums around this phone. And I think it is unfair in a few ways. So let's back up a bit. When this phone was first announced and they said that they were going to do over-the-air updates, they released that they would be using AdUps to do this. Now, AdUps was kind of uh, in the news about 2016-2017 when a particular uh, series of companies, Blue being the most prominent, decided to use some of the features that AdUps uh, put on their devices to essentially steal customer data. So as you can imagine, that did not go over well. Uh, the people that caught them, Cryptocurrency, released an entire article pretty much blasting AdUps for this. Uh, AdUps kind of looked at it and said, well, or the manufacturer is actually responsible for the collection of that data, not us. AdUps is a, a service. So what companies end up using that service for is where things can get a little murky. Now, since then, AdUps has gotten a very bad reputation. Uh, unfortunately, somewhat understandable considering that their software was used uh, in a way that it was not really intended, and that was to collect that consumer information. However, since then, AdUps has released several press releases stating that as of uh, version 5.5 and onward, the collection of a lot of that data is simply not possible. I also did some snooping on the phone to see what AdUps applications were running, and the only one that I found was the FOTA, which is the firmware over the air update. There are other uh, applications that AdUps did provide other manufacturers, such as uh, Sys uh, SysOp, which allowed the um, the remote access of the phone to do system operations, as well as one that was called AdUps Data Acquisition. And if you can't figure out what that one does, no, I'm not helping you. Um, neither one of those were found. The only AdUps uh, program that is installed on this device is for the firmware over the air updates. If you are very security conscious and very hypersensitive to what is on your phone, you really have I'm going to say two main options uh, if you are still looking to purchase this phone. The first is that you can, if you so choose, disable AdUps FOTA. However, if you do that, you will be saying goodbye to any software or firmware updates that Unihertz pushes out. So there is a little bit of give and take there. So be aware what you gain and what you give up. The second is, is that uh, there might be the potential down the road for a custom ROM uh, to be developed for this, but then it'll be up to the developers of that custom ROM to make sure that they are actually keeping it up to date and that it works uh, as intended. As of the recording of this film, there have been some people that have dumped the stock ROM off of this unit. However, no one has taken the time to actually develop a ROM, to my knowledge, to flash on this device. So if you are waiting for something like Lineage OS, no one has done it as of the filming of this video. 
With all that being said, it is worth mentioning that Unihertz has started selling this phone. Uh, so if you do want one, you can uh, grab one in the comments uh, section down below. I'll leave the link to their page. They're not sponsoring this video. Uh, I kickstarted it. Here it is. They're not paying me. That's pretty much all the disclaimers I think I need to say. Uh, it's actually been a pretty neat phone. Will it end up being a daily driver for me? It's my backup, but I don't think it will ever reach daily driver territory. It's very big. It's very heavy, and it's it's almost there, but there are a couple of quirks. However, if that situation changes, at this point, I don't think I would hesitate to pop my SIM card in here and uh, use it as it was intended. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll do my best to answer those, and I'll leave the big four for you here. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of any future updates to this phone or any others I might get to feature on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.